Hello guys! Welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video is another revamping vlog. As you can see, these are throw pillows. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first material is my mother's blouse. I only have the half part of it, which is the front area, because the other half was used by my mother for something else. The steps here are easy breezy. First, make a square by marking 17 inches in all sides. I've kept this one because of its floral and butterfly detail. I so love it! For the back part, I'm just using the extra fabric from the bed sheet I made. Pin to secure temporarily. Then cut an inch away from where it's marked. Backstitch three sides of it. Remember to leave one side open for the zipper. Position the zipper to the tip of the fabric, then secure it with bush pins. Then backstitch. So, this is my first DIY throw pillow. For the second material, it's my old dress. It has stains, so I couldn't wear it anymore. I'm gonna use the bottom part here to make the pillow. This one is smaller, so I'm just measuring 15 inches in all sides. Pin to secure. Then cut an inch away. Next, backstitch. 
do not forget to leave one side open for the zipper. Same steps applied for the zipper, so refer to the previous one in case you'd like to make your own throw pillow. So, this is how it turned out. It's a white floral throw pillow. For the remaining parts of the dress, I turned it into a cami crop top and a mask. The last material is this skirt. First, measure 16 inches in all sides. Cut an inch away from the marking. I'm adding a lace here to enhance its look. And I got this lace from the dress I used to recreate Blackpink Liz's outfit. Then backstitch. Again, remember to leave one side open for the zipper. Next, backstitch on one side the lace together with the zipper. Proceed to the other side of the zipper for back stitching. Back stitch the small opening on both sides of the zipper. So, this is how my third throw below looks like.
that's it. We're about to end uh, today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and click the like button. If you're not subscribed yet, then you already know what to do. Click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell for you to get more updates from us. This has been Eliza. See you in our next one. Goodbye.